welcome to the same frame. Oh Lord, he coming! Oh Lord, he coming! Oh Lord, he coming! He's actually bringing a friend. He coming? Is he? Oh, he's got a shield, fucker. Uh huh. Okay. Ah! Shaka! Bitch. Man, I, I, I don't, I don't pat my back too often, but you just wrecked that guy. Yeah, yeah. I felt that was pretty slick. Let's see if I can do this. I. Maybe. That's how I approach literally every task in my life. Let's see it's if this like works. I'm mildly confident I can do something. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. Oh, right. I am. <laughs> I'm undead. I forgot. <laughs> it's like you're not alive, but you're not dead. You're kind of like Summer <laughs> It's a line from Food Fight. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Possibly the only good line. Well, or the only good anything from Food Fight, come to think of it. Well, I'm down here now. Yeah, there's... I'm down here, I have no healing items. I'm pretty sure I can't just fling shurikens at this guy until he dies. I sincerely doubt it. Eh, probably not. Ooh, I wonder... I could just get him to... Attack! Oh, well, I didn't really do that much damage, though. Yeah, yeah, I really didn't. It did more damage than the sword, but... Yeah. Not enough to really turn the tides. Unless... Come on! Come on! Do yes! It, it, yeah! yeah! <laughs> bitch! Got him! He was a present bitch! <coughs> okay. Excuse me. Oh, right! They're all still alive. Yeah. Because I surpassed. I. I uh, not surpassed. Uh, got around. Bypassed. Bypassed them. Thank, thank you so much. I was like, <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> oh, gotcha, yeah. Uh. Yes, bypass them in order to get the purple ninja man who then thoroughly kicked my ass. Yeah. Several times. Yeah. Oh no, I have fallen. You better turn around and start. There we go. Let the evil overlords list. Sorry. I will check the pulse of my defeated enemy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> For a solid ten minutes. <laughs> After decapitating him. <laughs> I feel like that's a thing that hasn't really, uh, I don't know, made the rounds that it used to. What's that? Well, I remember, like, in, back in high school and such, that, like, the evil overlords, the, the just people understanding tropes and shit like that. Oh, yeah. Was, like, maybe it was just because it was new. Like, the evil overlords list was the first time we were like, yeah, villains always do stuff wrong like that. Whereas nowadays, it's just kind of assumed that we all understand the weird tropes and... Well, they do Why have not? an entire website dedicated to talking about it now. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying, though. <clears throat> is that I feel like, like, that was, that felt like, it felt new, you know, to, like, acknowledge that villains mm. do that shit and then actually come up with counter strategies for it and everything. Right, right. That felt very, you know, whatever, you can follow me, I don't give a shit, I'm just going down here. Whee! Okay. Well, I can see no reason to actually go through killing these people. That's fair. <laughs> Which, as a ninja, makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Hopping taro trod butt. Hey, hello, father. Hey, it's Owl. Father. Yep. It's <laughs> it's me. That's a that's a Five Nights at Freddy's reference for everybody out there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Which, oh my god, they're coming out with more Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. To the surprise of literally no one. It kind of surprised me. Yeah? Just the way of Scott Cawthon, especially towards, like, releasing stuff at the end. Mm. Like, he was still his Scott cawthon is yep. like, releasing stuff and we didn't expect it and whatnot. Just like, you know, if it's not coming out for six months, it's out tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it just kind of felt like he was kind of done. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, we know that, like, movie and whatever was coming out, but, like, the book series ended, the game series not only ended, but it kind of reflected the series as a whole. Oh, yeah. Like, one through five were pretty standard. Well, sister location, I guess, not so much. But, um, then, like, the you had the, the weird sixth night, and then you have, like, the, the, the custom seventh night. Oh, yeah. Like, the, the seventh the seventh game, just like the seventh night, was just a big fucking custom hmm. situation. With all the enemies, plus, and then some, from previous games. 
Damn. So it felt like, and sort of like poetry, they rhyme. Um, ah. Quote George Lucas. So, I don't know, it felt like the series really had like come to an end, aside from like other media. Mm, of course, yeah, toys yeah. are still going to come out. Of course, there's probably still going to... Is there a fucking helicopter with a spotlight on me? Did you see that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I don't really know what just happened there. I got a little panicked. I, guess. I was like, wait, what? I'm under attack! <laughs> It's just like a yokai who spins his head around really quickly. Oh, and Jesus. Holds on to like a cart. <laughs> Actually, that sounds like something that would happen. Come to yeah, think of it. And like yeah. this or Neo or even Yokai Watch. In fact, that definitely sounds like something that would happen in Yokai Watch. I, I would hope it would be not as like horrific as I'm picturing it in my head. Yokai Watch really runs that line. Oh, okay. Because it's still like, oh, yeah, this is the spirit of a samurai who didn't murder enough people, but it's like really still really cutesy. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is a demon who ate a thousand souls of slain soldiers, and yet it's like a fucking, just like a blob with a smiley face living in a full-size walk. Right. That's actually like one of the hidden bosses in one of the games. Or, like, I can't remember... Fuck it, it's just been too long. <laughs> I want to speak from a level of expertise here, but it's just been so long <laughs> since I played the old Yokai Watch games. Mm. Because I typically abandoned anything I can't 100%. Yeah, that that's fair. I... And I, to be fair, it is possible to 100% Yokai Watch 1 and 2, but I gave up after finishing like all the quests and all the things, mm -hmm. and all that was left was having coins for their fucking random chance you know, thing to get the last three yokai I needed. Oh. Yeah. After that, I just I just stopped playing. It just one day I didn't check it, and that was it. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, I, I definitely have had that as well, where it's like, oh, yeah, I get login bonuses and all sorts of stuff, so i got to keep up with that, and then one day you're like, oh, I don't I've know. done everything else. Yeah. You know, it's all like, I'm here <laughs> for are the login bonuses. Yep. Uh, of course, you know, let, me, let me get my axe. You're not the guy I needed to axe. You silly. Oh no, I've died. Yeah. Quickly. Turn around and walk away. Thank you. Yep, nothing to see here, just a corpse. Tell me about that you're leaving. That English was not their first language. Oh. I don't know what band that was. Fair. I, just, I don't even know what you were just singing, so like. I oh, the fucking. Yeah. Don't turn around, cause you're gonna see my heart break. You don't know that song? That uh, sounds kind of familiar. Oh, okay. Well, one of the lyrics is, um... Oh, wait a minute. Tell me about that you're leaving. Uh, hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just like, um... Uh, that song, Rocky Like a Hurricane. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they did not speak English. Oh, interesting. <laughs> it was an Antonio Banderas situation. <laughs> <laughs> he just, they just phonetically learned it. Yep. Yeah. His parade scratches my skin. What is wrong with the no, the sin? The bitch is hungry. She needs to tell. So give her inches and feed her well. Dirty. Which I guess means just fuck her. Yeah, it's like, I think that that's pretty much what they were just give, saying. Give her those inches. Yeah, it, it, it was definitely not. The, those thoughts were not scribed into English. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or do you want to baking fuck berserker? <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. That, that level. <laughs> yeah. Or do you want to make some... I don't know. But So I gotta say... I, at I, any point did anyone offer you to have your ass licked by a fat man in an overcoat? I mean, I'd do it. <laughs> I, I mean, if he's the one doing the licking, I mean... Whatever. <laughs> I constantly forget I'm I'm like one hundred percent more flexible than most people. It's I just you're just being by because it's like you know, it's like well not if a dude's doing it that's instantly not a barrier for me. Well, no, my take on it is just you know it was a lanky white guy outside of a Seven Eleven just randomly yelling it at someone about licking your ass. Yeah. What? Yeah. I think something got lost on it. All I was saying is that some dude in overcoats offering to lick my ass. I really don't see much of a downside. I can't remember if it was Clerks or 
But yeah, it was. Hey, lady, you ever had your asshole looked by a fat guy in an overcoat? He points at Silent Bob. Oh, okay. I, that's what I figured you were you were referencing a fat guy in an overcoat. Yeah. Even though he's not fat anymore. Huh. Yeah, Kevin. Well, Kevin Smith had a heart attack. Oh, well. He was yeah. very fat. Um, in fact, one of his things was too fat to fly. Because an airline dicked with him about being too fat. Even though I've been as fat as he was and I could still fly. So they were clearly just, just assholes that day. As you do. Who were backed by their company, unfortunately. And then he started tweeting and they were like, please stop tweeting. Ah. <laughs> Put you on a plane, just please stop. <laughs> Funny how that worked out. Someone from the PR department called at airport and was like, what the fuck? Yep. <laughs> I don't know what you just did, but people fucking hate us right now. <laughs> but yeah, he had a heart attack. He had like, had like a, uh, I don't think it's called a shunt, but it's something. He had to have some stint, yeah. I think, put into his heart and everything. He's super skinny now. Hmm. And at first I was like, oh, that sucks. You're supposed to be representing fat guys. And then I got diabetes. <laughs> and just by virtue of treating myself having that disease, I've lost a lot of weight. So I'm 40 pounds so far. Which has made me less of a fat man. I'm still a fat man right now, but I might, I'm probably not going to be if this keeps up. Jeez. Let me tell you guys, if everybody at home, if you are serious about losing weight, just start with carbs. Just get rid of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I haven't got rid of them. I still eat crackers and stuff every once in a while, but it's a serving. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's not going all hog wild like I used to. Right, you don't eat a sleeve. You actually look at what it says on the box. Yeah. Been there. Which, when you first start out, it's just absurd. It's hard. That's one thing that I hate, is that we're like, oh, it's impossible to lose the weight. It's like, no, it's not. It's just really fucking hard. Mm -hmm. And then that goes in two different directions. Like, yeah, so just get off your ass, fat ass. It's easy. It's like, no, no, no. <laughs> so you've lost it's it? hard. Yeah. It's really hard. It sucks. You really got to want it. Like, you've got to stick to it. No one's going to fucking knock the food out of your hand. You, it's and it's really shitty and difficult to do, and you gotta say goodbye to a lot of your favorite things, and it is hard and shitty. And I think if someone's trying, that needs to be appreciated. But if someone's eating fucking wontons, and they're just like, "Oh, I wish I could lose this weight," fuck you. Maybe stop eating fried carbs. Sorry, fuck you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have grown more merciful in some ways, and more just. Whatever the emotion fuck you is. I was say, I just, I just would have said, and less merciful in others. Like, yeah. As opposed to, I don't really know what's vindictive, but that implies that someone's, like, done something to you, and you're responding. And they maybe listen to their stupid bullshit. <laughs> I mean, in that case, like, yeah, that, that counts. You can, just, you can describe anything as anything if you spin it the right way. Indeed! <laughs> okay. You weren't fired, you were promoted to customer. <laughs> I still say your yeah. job should oh, yeah. be the top. Your job is genius. It's amazing. <laughs> anyway, so with that, I don't know what it was that we just talked about. <laughs> I don't know how you would describe it. Like, with that encouragement? Well, no. With that nonsense? Well, no, it made sense. Um, yeah. with, with, with that. Yep. With that, mm -hmm. we will see you guys... Next time on the Zane Frame. <laughs>